You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's The Newsroom After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's The Newsroom After Show. Hey guys, welcome back to the newsroom. We are on episode seven, season two, News Night with Will McAvoy. So quite an episode going on tonight as, as per usual. Mm-hmm. I'm your host, Kristen Carroll, and across from me is the lovely. Hello, I'm Sarah Mendoza. And oh, am I the loveliest one? I'm joking. Also the, <laughs> the loveliest of, yeah. of After Buzz. There you go. Gorgeous. <laughs> yes, absolutely. John. And in the booth. And in the, the booth, booth, yes. Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> Newsroom, yay. <laughs> <laughs> so this episode, what I kind of liked about it, it was all set in just the newscast, which hardly yeah, has really happened recently. Yeah. So I felt like there was so much going on, and I, it was great that it was probably only in about maybe a two-hour time span mm-hmm. that was going on that, with that. Uh, first of all, I want to start off with our Sorkinism of the night. Do you guys yeah, I totally have forgot any to write one I just, Oh, Sarah I, had a fun one. She I liked it. I liked it when um, Bob uh, Bowie mother effers and they <laughs> and they said that when they basically um, they, confronted the callers yeah. who the prank callers saying, the prank callers who said they were from Syria um, <laughs> <laughs> when actually they were just in New York. <laughs> you know, trying to get on the yeah. air. Mm. And yep. uh, as soon as they confronted them, the guy on the phone goes, ba 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 booyah, mother effers. <laughs> and who, who was the guy that said that? I don't know his name. But um, I, I don't know. No, but he was re- working with Tess tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were partners. Which was good. Maybe Yay, another Margaret. AP. So, yeah, another AP yeah. in the newsroom. But it was great to, to have that come out of... Baba Boo- Baba I wish Tess said it. That would have been funny. Yeah. I, I personally also liked, and I know, Sarah, you had a, um, an opinion about this, but I did like when Mackenzie goes up to Neil. And she's like, I don't care. You know, I don't like you right now. I don't care if that's irrational. <laughs> I want you to fail. But I want you to fail tonight. I mean, it, it, that was one of my, it yeah. was just funny because it was very Mackenzie. Mm-hmm. Yes. For her to say that. That is a great line. I don't like it when people get mad at Neil, though. But yes, great Because his line. intentions are always really good. <laughs> and so also, don't somebody be mad at I guess him. we can talk about it now, but like also, he was just listening to Will. Like, what's he going to say? Like, no, Will, I'm not going to come over and talk to you right now. Like, mm-hmm. Will is beckoning him every every news break um to horrible ask. position for him to be in you're right because like do you ups- upset will yeah. mcavoy yeah you're screwed no matter what you do yeah well and poor will had so much That's, and we'll talk about that later yeah well we want to start with first sloan <laughs> sexy slow scandalous <laughs> pictures okay yeah, i mean I, I know why i guess you'd make well why would you ever give anybody a picture See, I'm, day, an, this day I'm an expert at this because I work at E News and yeah. we cover celebrity <laughs> naked photos. I thought you were going to say I, I'm an expert I at mean, this because it happened to me before. I mean, I get why you do it for them, but why would you give it to them? And and you know, I mean, you you know it's going to get out there. Again, alcohol makes yeah. people do crazy things. I, mean, I don't know that there was any alcohol involved in this, but they, they didn't suggest that. No, she said that. Did she? Yeah, that's I why she that posted. Is um, they she'd been going out with him since Christmas, so it had yeah. been about and six or seven weeks, drunk. and they got. He had gotten them a hotel room at the, you know, know yeah. oh, I didn't Mandarin I totally Oriental. <laughs> I was writing something down, I'm sure. had a few too many drinks, and she bought him this camera because she likes yeah. him. Well, the camera, I got all that part. I just didn't let her drink. But even still, yeah, it's yeah. like, how, how, I don't... Well, honestly, people make ridiculous. mistakes, and maybe, yeah, she's totally over him now, but, I mean, Scott, douchebag as he is, he's kind of a hottie. So maybe she, <laughs> maybe she was, like, head over heels, blinded, and maybe she thought they were going to go somewhere, and he would never do but, this to her. But seriously, he, he was seriously. very attractive. But you're on a, a national show, a national TV show. You, mm-hmm. I, I just, how, I just, I can't believe anybody would do it these days. I think we also know that Sloane's not very good at relationships, mm-hmm. so I don't think her mind's clear when <laughs> it comes to that But she's not an idiot. Anyways. 
No, but she's it, smart. But she's so slightly that, awkward when it comes yeah, to that stuff. I, she's, I she's agree not with all that, but I just can't. It. I just have a hard time buying anybody in her position would do it. It just could have really been the alcohol, and she never got around to going back into the camera and deleting them. Blame it on the alcohol. Uh, Blame uh, it uh, on the alcohol. alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it's in you Jamie Foxx up in here. Um, <laughs> way better than me singing it. <laughs> but no, and, and it's I mean, don't you always delete your pictures? Don't you? Oh yeah, Sarah? all my naked photos See? I, I there, delete. Right? Ethan, come on, seriously. <laughs> I bet don't John, you, you keep yours. yours? <laughs> <laughs> but I, do, I, I keep yours. I keep. <laughs> You know, maybe she was thinking like a Kardashian, and she is acting like it was an on purpose, did, did but she wanted you, to get well, ratings. Well, did, did and any of for a That's second? different. Video is different because for that to be released, they, they have, have to, to sign, sign off. off on it. I know. But did any of you for a second think that she maybe did it on purpose just to to trend? No. Is she trending number one? No, no never. So. Not no. really. I don't not think that's all. in Sloan. Is that what you thought? Just for a second, I'm going. God, I wonder if they're gonna go there with Sloan, where she's gonna, you know, she did it, but you know, just because she wanted to. Well, because yeah. no, I don't. I don't think that's it at all. I don't think that's a way that she functions. Is, is, I don't I'm either. But, that, I, but it didn't at all come into your mind thinking that that he he might be doing that. That uh, Sorkin she, might push that. Mm, I don't no? know. It it, it would seem so out of character for Sloan. Yeah, she seems as she's yes, yeah, she's naturally very sexy, but she seems to be very like. Reserved in herself and yes, mm -hmm. awkward with and kind of naive and with open. relationships. Now that obviously. part I get, yeah, but I, I had just I had as much a hard I had just as hard of a time believing that because she, she's so bright to, th to not realize that if these pictures are ever going to get out, I don't care how much you trust the guy. You're in a national show, oh, don't yeah. you think that that this guy mm -hmm. who's he? He's nothing. I mean, mm -hmm. he's maybe good looking and everything, but he's not known. So yeah, I can see that eventually. I just don't see how she couldn't see around the corner and realize this is probably not a good idea. I do have to say, not that to belittle her experience, but it happens so often now that I feel like in another couple of months, nobody's going to care. But I, that's exactly my point. It happens so often. How can you not know that that's going to happen? Mm -hmm. Well, I think, yeah, no matter what, too, because some of the other stuff, like a Scarlett Johansson exactly. or even Kate Middleton, I mean, there's no, if it wasn't this guy with the camera, it'll mm -hmm. be some perv yeah. who takes one that doesn't even know her. Well, I think the difference is, too, is like, you know, with with those um, with those pictures in particular, mm -hmm. they didn't know that they yeah. were going to get out. It was right. somebody either taking taking it from about a mile away in mm -hmm. Kate Middleton's case, and Scarlett Johansson was a private picture to her husband at the time, and and unlike you know, something like Prince Harry, where there's so many people there with their camera phones, and you're mm -hmm. famous, and if you're walking around your hotel room naked, I mean that's going to make. Well, I yes. wanted to know the nature of the breakup, like who, like why Between did... Between Sloan and Scott? Yeah, like oh. why did they break up? Why did it get so bad that he would do this to her? Or maybe he was planning this all along. I don't think it but according to Sloan, it wasn't really that bad of yeah. a breakup. So he's probably just a jerk. I mean, what else can he, mm -hmm. you know? That's the maybe only he dated her for that. It. Yeah. Just so he could cause some scandal. Uh, and why they broke up? Probably because she's so awkward. <laughs> 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 or he got what he wanted out of her and, Maybe. and moved on. Maybe. Yeah. No, I felt, I felt very bad for her and the situation. I felt bad until she, she got <laughs> her to come up. Well, that was great. <laughs> but Sloan take care, yeah. <laughs> took care of it. That was great. That was awesome. I really I thought that was great. I mean, I feel bad for Scott, but too bad. Well, you, you got, that was, got awesome. was coming to you. And I loved that Charlie was standing up for her. And then if you yeah. if you guys saw at the very end there when they walked by each other in the newsroom, yeah, handshake. They had kind of yeah like a small handshake, mm -hmm. hand yeah. grab, which mm -hmm. was cute because we've seen them have they obviously like each other, but we've seen them had a few riffs where you know, yeah, in particular where he said something a couple of weeks ago where mm -hmm. he's like I'm a nerd and mm -hmm. I hate you because you're a nerd and you make us look bad and she goes no I I make nerds look good. <laughs> 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 I always like their relationship because yeah, they got a it, great one. it's uh, like father daughter mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. like they're gonna give you the t he's gonna give you give her the tough love, but also be there for her in instances yeah. like this. He's got this. her back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think she handled everything? As well as could be in this situation. <laughs> well, having never been in that position, I'm gonna defer to you guys, <laughs> gals. Um, I I understand I understand why she was so um, mortified by yeah. it and why mm -hmm. she was underneath the desk in the office crying, because especially when you have you know that big of an audience and mm -hmm. people are, you're you're pretty much 
<laughs> figuratively and actually naked in front of the world. Yeah, and you're you're exposed. <laughs> your credibility is shot. She can't even do an interview. I mean, she, you know, yeah. that part. And then the, she has to tell her parents. And for someone like her who I, it feels <laughs> like she's fighting difficult. against, um, you know, you know, not getting anywhere just because of her legs. Mm -hmm. You know, like she mm -hmm. she wants to be successful based on her her intelligence and merit in mm -hmm. her subject matter, not like the fact that she's the sexy uh, financial analyst. Exactly. And so this is like totally working against her for that for that yeah. what I think is that mission of hers. Well, it's kind of like um, Aaron Andrews. They had those pictures of her. I think it was somebody took them of her in the shower. I could be getting this wrong, whoa, but just whoa, um, whoa. <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna you were gonna help no, me out here. No, no I was just going. But Great, then, we're gonna start a rumor. I'm not sure if this is right, but there, go ahead. No, no, she had. I know she had scandalous pictures that were mm -hmm. out there, but it kind of excelled her career in the mm, sports world. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to ask, you know, with certain things, was how did you mm -hmm. know? Do you take that and you run with it if you're smaller, or do you kind of? Well, I mean, something like that gets attention mm -hmm. no matter what. Mm -hmm. No matter what, she's going to get attention for this, and it will probably help ratings for hers and Elliot's show. She was trending number one as... That's right. what I'm saying. I, I think <laughs> the sticking point for her, what's really bothering her, is what, what, how people like her parents are going to perceive... Not like that, but it's going to be difficult to maintain any kind of credibility if she's going to go on to try to do other things. Uh, Those are it, always going to be there. Yeah, they're always going to be there. Or it'll just be that much harder for her to continue yeah. to prove herself. And I have to say, I this whole season, I even said it, I think it was last week, that I hate that I like Don now. <laughs> like, I don't want them together just because of Don last season. I can't yeah. get that out of my head. Yeah, yeah. But they were really, they were really great. Again, I thought it was... Mm -hmm. Maybe Dom was just the, just horrible last season because he was just with Maggie. Maybe that was it. He just... He, well, <laughs> she made him crazy, which <laughs> a lot of viewers Sloan don't him to be a like man. Maggie, yeah. so I could... Well, Don was just kind of a coward last season because he couldn't confront his... Right. He didn't maybe even know his actual feelings for Maggie, mm -hmm. you know? And, and now I, he's still kind of being a coward because <laughs> he's not... I mean, he hasn't asked her out, but you can tell that he wants to. So again, well, it'll well, happen. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta think. It didn't work out so well when I dated somebody who I was working with the first time. Maybe it's a <laughs> good idea not to date somebody I'm working with the second time. Right. So. Well, yeah. There, there's I don't that know if that's too. a cowardly choice. Plus, <laughs> like, how awkward would it be? Like, Maggie's still working in the same newsroom yeah. as the both of them, and yeah, that would be. So that could just raise a lot of questions too. Mm -hmm. Like, well, did you always like Sloane? Yeah, but who cares at this point? She always liked yeah. Jim, so yeah, she can't, she can't really talk about that. No, mm -hmm. she can't at all. But I liked I liked them sitting there, her her awkward yeah, lion nice. yeah. joke, and <laughs> yeah, and then he accompanied her. So Sloan, yeah. as we were saying, that was a good goes reveal. to confront him. It was a yeah. very good reveal. I yeah, didn't, I, did, I did not expect Don to be there, so which was why I, when you said he was cowardly, I went, wait a minute, he went there to back her up. That's true. But then, so. see, but he's going there as a supportive co-worker. And right. he's just like, make the move already, you know? <laughs> I'm but curious, do you think he looked up the pictures? Because I think he probably did. Oh. <laughs> They're probably in a shrine in his, no, <laughs> his bedroom. It's his back, oh, backdrop okay. on his computer. Ladies, wouldn't you? I mean, if it was a guy that you were interested in, would you look at him? Would I? Oh, like you mean if it was like Alexander Skarsgård? And his I, sure, up? okay. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I don't need to. Kidding? True Blood does it for me. <laughs> yeah, see. Uh, you look. I that's I, Sarah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there you go. That's Sarah, Sarah, no, Sarah, Sarah you're, you're, you're not answering. Answered. I'm not that kind of girl. You already answered. I'm so. not that kind of girl. <laughs> but I, yeah, I love that reveal. Yeah, have a friend look and then tell you about it, right? <laughs> I, I wouldn't even go to like those Thunder Down Under shows. I'm, I'm just not into it. Oh, you should. It's I'll take you away. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anyways, oh, yeah. moving on. Oh, Chris. And we, weren't we just talking about how there's no sex in newsroom? There, yeah. Yeah. But uh, we were talking about that that way because there were so mm -hmm. many trailers before we started watching right. that all of a sudden there's sex. But there is, they talk, they, they touch upon it, they talk about it, but you never... I mean, you're on HBO, you could take advantage of that. Yeah, and I'm actually kind of glad he doesn't because it doesn't need it. Well, it's just right. not that kind of show. Yeah, it's not. Which is which is a nice relief. Mm -hmm. I I mean, we were all curious. Like, are they going to sh show the photos of Sloane? Because we knew it was mm -hmm. going to happen. But mm -hmm. no, they didn't. They actually chose to leave it out. And or I was just like, you know, not even like a little bit more risque. It was just really her neck <laughs> that they yeah. showed. 
But it was interesting too how they had everybody look at the photos and mm. see if it if they were real or not. <laughs> Re and... that you we did. <laughs> <laughs> we had the research done. It's your same skin tone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah. Now Reese, now he probably has those, and he probably oh, looks yeah. those every Reese, day. Reese has like, so many photos. Yeah, he's like, I know exactly. where all your freckles mm -hmm, are. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, Place he probably knew the them. That's he what knew he them does. before the photos, though. If he's if he's sneaking, you know, trying to get phone calls and, and stuff, yeah. who knows what else he has? And mm -hmm. also, like, why did why did Reese and Network step in? Like, what what is going to happen to Sloan? Well, they're afraid it's going to ruin their credibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they have to figure out what to how to handle it. That's right. So they definitely all the need viewers, to be involved. The right? are going to go, hey, what is this? You know, I'm not going to advertise on this hoochie coochie show. Mm -hmm. When stuff like that happens, you reach out to the publicists, you reach yeah. out to any networks yeah. if they have comments all for it. And damage, all control, the news desks spin. do that, yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. To make it sound mm -hmm. better. And, I like and they have to is, at least have the appearance that they're addressing the issue, otherwise they're tacitly approving it. Right. Yeah. Damage control. Mm -hmm. So we definitely want to hear from you guys. How do you guys like Sloan? And Don together, what do you think about how the pictures were handled? We love hearing G from digitize you. Digitize your own and send them in, <laughs> and then we'll know what you think the pictures were. That's uh, we're <laughs> no? just gonna let no? Don do handle have that. Any <laughs> HR <laughs> up in here. Send them all to Sarah. <laughs> send them all to Sarah. My phone number is. Yeah. No. no, we want to hear what you guys say. We love your comments on YouTube or iTunes, and actually wanted to do. I mean, try to do a shout out to yeah. whoever comments each each week. We had Loose Fan. Um, right. I think because we had a lot of comments about Maggie because yeah. we were we asked them specifically Absolutely. about mm -hmm. that about her carrying the kid or not and she thought um, loose fan thought I think Maggie putting the boy on her back was just an experience yeah okay so I think that's definitely Kelly thought for sure she should have carried her in her arm her carried arms. the yeah. child in in her arms yeah yeah and then just Ann W saw um, I saw Maggie carrying Daniel on her back as an experience with children. Mm -hmm. Same thing, and she said, as a teenager, I babysat and kids piggy, um, and gave kids piggyback rides because it was fun and easier to carry a larger mm -hmm. child. And he was, I mean, not he was, he yeah, wasn't was a big kid, ten. but yeah, yeah, you know. So it would make sense that if that was an easier way to put it that way. And I want to make sure I say his name right this time because he told me it's yeah. Papa Exo. Papa Exo. Okay. He said mm -hmm. happy birthday to John. Oh, thank you, Papa Exo. And <laughs> really nice. liked Allison Pill. He thinks that she should win a supporting actress award with that mini breakdown in front of the lawyers. Wow. She is right. a great actress. It was a great I agree. Performance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then today, even, and we can. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into her. Yeah. We'll, we'll switch it around. Yeah, I got yeah, this topic absolutely. three, but that's, that's a good transition. Her, uh, uh, how she's handling her PTSD, so to speak. I still think yeah. her performance, it's so understated mm -hmm. that you knew something was up with her, and then all of a sudden you figure out yeah. she she likes to go out at night. Well, <laughs> handling this very well. Uh, you no. mean this episode it was understated? Because yes. in previous, she was... Totally it was, off the rock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. season one, around. it was like over a... the top. I think those mm -hmm. panic attacks right. were definitely taking hold of her. But season two here, she's a little more. It's a little more subtle. Well, hopefully, I mean that's what it looks like. That Sorkin is taking her and trying to show maturity and her growth and all that other stuff, mm -hmm. which she does has done with many uh, characters over his many years. And I think that's what we're seeing here. And obviously, this experience that she's had with the child dying in her arms, etc. I think uh, obviously it's going to have a huge effect on her. So we mm -hmm. got to see how that plays out. But I thought, I love it when you you know she's you can see somebody going at somebody and you know something else is crackling underneath and then when they hit it and they realize that character realizes oh shoot I've been found out now mm -hmm. what am I, how am I gonna deal with it I just love those moments because it's it's mm -hmm. I think they're really dramatic and fascinating yeah um, it kind of threw me off though because in the last few episodes she's you know talking to the lawyers with her hair chopped off mm -hmm. and you know she, now she's back to the beautiful blonde hair. And she's a bit more vocal, a bit more Maggie that we knew mm -hmm. um, well, those, in this episode. Well, this but is the lawyer still, ones are later. Yeah, we, the lawyer we, ones are still about six months. Oh, that's right. Sorry, because yeah. it was fart for a second. It was a year ago when she went to Africa, right. and now it's about six months after that. So, so this hair thing is still going to get to her. It's yet to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. So right now she's so, in the drinking so it's the and build finding up company to the hair. Exactly. Okay, mm -hmm. there you go. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was. Interesting, because she did make a point that that some people do is how if you bring that to work or not. Right. And up until mm -hmm. tonight, mm -hmm. her work didn't suffer. Well, it, it, that's not. I don't think that's true. It's just that nobody said that, and she may have hit it a lot better. And you know, let's face it. I'm I'm guessing that her work suffered in some degree, but she probably did a, a great job of uh, trying to mm -hmm. withhold it and not show it. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but it, that doesn't mean j just because the work didn't suffer doesn't mean that people are going to say everything right away because they're probably giving cutting her some slack because sure. of what happened. So I'm just because they. But said then for thing. something like this, where she leaves out a part of the bite yeah. that is the question. that changes the the sound the yeah. so the sot completely, yeah. mm -hmm. then um, maybe then of course it's going to be recognized because hello. Yeah, you can't escape this one. Yeah. This happened on air. Uh, yep. Now we have to do retract, not a retraction, but a correction, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, okay, thanks. Guess what? <laughs> it's having an effect. Yeah, and, and it, now it's obvious. Yeah. And it was part of something that, mm -hmm. even recently, I'll be interested to see if they come back to it with yeah. the Trevon Martin right. trial. And it was the George Zimmerman tapes, right. and it was the mm -hmm. operator or police and officer. I, I thought yeah. it was great that they they put the whole they wrap, Sorkin wrapped the whole thing around the justice issue, which is the thing that she's going to be fighting. Uh, the whole what's right, what's wrong, and the injustice of a child being murdered, yeah. etc. So that's what she's struggling with. Yeah. Eesh. And just doesn't want to be alone at night. I thought, my God, I just the idea that she goes out every night just to pick somebody up, just so she, can't, you know, doesn't want to be because she can't rely on her roommate because. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that's still non starter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a hostile environment when Horrible. you have to live with somebody. Yeah, especially like somebody who's, uh, who's gone through an experience like that and you've got no safe haven. Mm -hmm. Work is a hostile environment to some degree because you have to be so right on everything and you're going to mm -hmm. be found out. And then you go home and you can't even rest there. Yeah. Well, right. and work for her. She needs she to get still out of there. On there. She's That's what I mean. It's a hostile in environment yeah. to some degree. Obviously, not the same in, as it was in Africa. Not that kind of hostility, I, but it's. I yeah. just don't know why she doesn't move out or find another place. Like sublet your room. Y New York is think, very yeah. difficult to find an apartment that's yeah. inexpensive. So and in a halfway nice neighborhood. Yeah, so maybe that's why. I, I know, but, but six still months. six months. I'm just find a right. couch, flop somewhere, do Make something. Make something work. Yeah. Right. But. You don't want to be around. But then again, that. we don't. We know she's not thinking rationally anyway because of that experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, the, the rational thing would be, okay, I got to find another place. I don't right. care what it takes. I'll do it. Uh, but and that's the reason she doesn't want to be home because yeah. you know she. she that's why she's partying but and she's drinking and hooking up not with guys. Rationally, yeah. so. That's how bad it is. She can't even think rationally just to get a, yeah. find another place. Well, sometimes if you keep doing bad bad behavior like that, that's all you know how to do, and hopefully mm -hmm. she can kind of get out of that no we saw the hair that's a bad choice yeah <laughs> <laughs> she's that's, obviously not over it well, after we're working yeah, up to that year. so yeah. it's, it's gonna get worse to, before it gets better there's about to be a breakdown mm -hmm, happening mm -hmm. yeah i'm waiting what story or what moment brings her back to that brings maybe her back she to, meets hallie to, <laughs> no. to the you know obviously she's still having problems but the fact that all it's of a sudden she thing. wants to cut her hair it's the general thing with the the the, the general see, saying that he made the statement and she's saying i was there it happened and he said that and I'm sure that has that's the thing that, yeah. that took her over the edge. Mm -hmm. That's my guess. Anyway. Mm -hmm. hmm. I just I just thought because remember from last episode where the kid is talking about the blonde hair. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so I thought it was like right after that that. Yeah, she I know it was a little hair. confusing. Yeah. I think they made it look that way so that it it matched the story, so you don't have to think back later. Mm -hmm. Why is she cutting her hair? Mm -hmm. So we should show it now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, the the lawyer mm -hmm. stuff is later. So yeah. something else has to trigger it once again. I'm sure so. that's why. Yeah, that I mean, is it's why. clear to me that that's why but, she yeah. did that. I just thought it was like right yeah, when but she it wasn't got right back. No. It would almost make more sense if it was right when she got back. Mm -hmm. To be perfectly honest, but if she's trying to hide it so it, much, it, that's what I'm saying. It would, but no, she's trying to show everybody mm -hmm. how tough she was. Remember, that's why she went to Africa is to be. She's I still, want to be the go-to person on something. She wants to come yeah. back and think, hey, look, I I took care of it. I handled it. I'm okay. Sure. She doesn't want anybody to see that the, right. there's the the weakness that she may have, well, the vulnerability. Then, put it better. And then Jim is being really nice to her mm -hmm. and is apparently going out with Haley. Uh, I was Hallie. a little. Is it Hallie, Hallie or Haley? Hallie. 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 Excuse me. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't think she's. You know, I mean, it seems I like they're still talking her. at least. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because he's like, I'll, I'll be sure to let her know. Yeah. You know, or. But I think he was just. I think a lot of what he was doing was saying that or suggesting that just so there wasn't. Uh, the uh, the possibility or the idea that that he and Maggie might go out. There's just mm -hmm. it just sucks because it's obvious there's no closure with their situation. They yeah. never talked about it mm -hmm. um, really directly. It seems mm -hmm. like because she's obsessively looking at this Hallie girls page, and I wonder how you know if she knows. She totally Facebook stalked her. Like, <laughs> does she know to what extent um, 
We don't know Jim that. And, yeah, we don't know yet. We don't know if she knows that they slept together. We just know that she knows that he well, gave up her interview. He we, gave up his interview for her. Yes. It's not even proven that they slept together. All we know is she said, I'm the rebound, and mm -hmm. they started making out. Oh, that's now, what you believe. Kendra, come on. Of course <laughs> they did. Kendra? <laughs> well, it's not, it's not as obvious as her getting out of Jim's shower. That's true. Like, <laughs> that's true. Don't look like we did anything you, you wrong. You don't call yourself a rebound if you don't. You know, consummate that. Mm. I yes, mean, rebounding comes problem. with consummating. I mean, I mean, that's what a rebound is. Well, then I've never had a rebound. No. <laughs> that's good, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, but and yeah. I, I thought that was kind of interesting, and how Maggie wanted to write an article called "What's Wrong with Sluts." <laughs> yes. Yeah. But she's obsessing over Hallie. She's she's like looking at every single piece that she's publishing and who's picking mm -hmm. her up. Not like not only is it like her but stuff every, that's on her blog, like she's noticed that it's been picked up by HuffPo. Yeah. And, <laughs> well, she, and she's trying to prove to Jim that, that Hallie's not worth it. She's not everything you think she is. Yeah. Well, because she only does pieces on Sandra Fluke. Yeah. Which so. which we yeah. found out attorney. Uh, she was a speaker at the DNC, mm -hmm. women's right activist. Yeah. You know what I? This is. A new topic, uh -oh. oh, semi-related. Um, you know what I find so cool is the fact that Sorkin did do his like immersive research on how a newsroom operates. Because mm. today, uh, funniest thing is like when they're they're waiting for the, for the file upload. to download. Yeah. Okay, and it's taking forever. And I just remember. I worked in local news for like three years, mm -hmm. and I remember like if there was a breaking something and yeah. we got something that we wanted to use, that was like torture. <laughs> and like it's no wonder why Jim would be standing there like waiting for it as the producer because he wants to get that in the show. It's a big deal. Oh, and news for even you know because I'm in I'm in news right now. again, not hard news, but I'm in news right now. We have the same thing uh, last week. Our Snapstream system was oh, really? was down. It's yes. compromised. Oh. So, uh, if, and those did who you don't know, use tapes? <laughs> they had to. They had to. We had to call duplications to do tape. And for those who don't know, uh, Snapstream is a system where mm -hmm. you where they record pretty much every single television show, and you can go back and just take from clip, there. Yeah, certain segments that you want from whatever show you want. You know, mm -hmm. you need. And I had much like we do here, and we record everything. <laughs> I had about three or four different clips that I needed mm. and the system wasn't working and then once yeah. it finally worked it the download process was incredibly <laughs> slow and producers yeah. were like where is my stuff and I'm going to mm -hmm. the AEs yeah. what's going on with this and they don't you know they can't do anything so that was end, accurate so yeah it was very accurate, very accurate. how slow that goes yeah even like Maggie cutting it last minute in the bay yeah. or telling the editor to cut it so th and then he needs to upload it into the ENPS whatever news system so that it finally gets onto the mm -hmm. rundown that goes to air like that craziness yeah. is all like really how it is and it takes twice as long because you have to download it and then you usually have to transcribe not transcribe mm -hmm. it but transcode it excuse me for it to go in and mm -hmm. the dreaded takes, rendering bar. Yeah, so if it's it's a five minute segment, it's gonna take ten minutes till yeah. they can get it in their system. Yeah, with most places. Anyways. And Lord knows I did the Don the Don Duck when <laughs> when when the when you're, Don the Don the Don Duck walk <laughs> ducking walk when you realize you're on when camera. you realize that you're in the background like. Whoop. Oh, nothing going on here. <laughs> well, we had to watch. That we watched great. that several times yeah. to make sure we had the correct name yeah, about what Don like was Don's talking duck. about. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. The Don Duck. Uh, the, that's you great. like my alliteration? Yeah, it's very nice. Was it? Absolutely. <laughs> nice. Thanks for that. Was it darling? <laughs> so I also I want to talk about Charlie and Shep mm. and Genoa. So we're mm -hmm. back to Genoa, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we have his friend who... If I'm, uh, I had it in my notes exactly. O &I. Santana. Yeah, uh, press liaison for O and I, and Office of Naval Intelligence. Yeah, and he um, he comes in and he usually, Charlie doesn't like to see him in person. He thinks he's kind of a secret agent. <laughs> he's a ghost. <laughs> he is a ghost. That's what he is. He's a spy. But he always has like weird stories. They yeah. talk about the computers yeah. in Utah. Yeah, exactly. And, and all that's true though. That. I mean, those big, huge warehouses and all that other stuff, and 1.7 <laughs> million gallons of coolant yeah. stuff. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. But then he kind of talks about, you know, I hear, I hear you've got a guy in D.C., Jerry Dantanis, chasing a story. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and all of a sudden, the mood shifts. What? what? And Charlie's all age, all ears mm -hmm. to whatever he has to say. It's great. I like Charlie playing coy, though, because, yeah. well, well, what are you talking about? <laughs> Never right, giving it up right. until he actually gets it up. Wow. And he's trying to get Charlie to admit to it, so I think yeah. it was great how he went around that. 
And Charlie kept saying, I can't tell you what the story nope. is. I can't tell you what the story is. And then Shep goes, and he and he actually doesn't say it either. No, I mean, they were both really it good. It's a nice little chess match going on yeah. there. So yeah. he says everything he needs to say without really saying anything because he didn't say anything more than Charlie already knew. And but it was great how he went around it mm -hmm. because and and made it a more personal right. aspect. Charlie, mm -hmm. he asked, you know, and that is the question. Nancy, that's what, I how loved how he did that because that's a question for all of us. Yeah, it was Do, if your son was captured, or wouldn't your, you use or your mother, your father, mm -hmm. sister, yeah. whatever? Would you, would you want the government to use any means necessary? Any means necessary. Right. Would you want that? Do the ends justify the exactly. means? Exactly. Even I was questioning in that uh -huh. moment, like, what would I do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and and did you answer? Because for me, because yeah, I mean, this, my brother's going to hate this, but no, <laughs> no, I don't want them to use any means necessary. <laughs> well, like, they know that, to, John. <laughs> well, seriously, would you want them to use a nuclear uh, bomb? And you want to kill five hundred thousand people to save one? I don't lives. know. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it's a question. It's a tough question. But and, and his argument was great. Again, Sorkin at his best because the, you know Shep's argument is: look, there there, there are crazies out there, and th th we can't use the Geneva Convention when one when one group is fighting a world in the eighth century. And I'm fighting a war in the eighth century, and then uh, we're in. The tw I mean, it's crazy to think that the that those Geneva Conventions would hold for all occasions and all situations. Mm -hmm. right. But the whole reason why you have those kinds of things is so uh, you you don't go off and, and just decide for yourself what to do. I mean, that's the reason why you right. have those ahead of time. When you're not at war, you have these rules because it's too easy. We don't easy. want anybody to resort exactly. to those kind of things. No, I definitely, I think it's some. It's an interesting idea because it would be hard if, yeah. if it was a loved one. Yep. You want to do of anything course it for would. them. But yeah, that's why, you know, that's good. What was the, in fact, if I can go back to West Wing for a second, there was a mm -hmm. member, I don't know if you remember, Charlie, who played the bag man for uh, uh, the president, mm -hmm. uh, played by Dulé Hill. Uh, they asked him. His father, his mother was, his father was killed in the line of duty, and they asked him, "If you were, to, if we were to find the person who killed your father, would you want us to uh, murder him, meaning uh, put him to death for capital punishment?" And he says, "Nope, I'd want to do it myself." <laughs> so th you just go, and that's why they have those rules. You don't want the person who's to go out there and do it's it. A, it's, yeah, because obviously they're going to make that choice. They're, 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 they, they have rage just like Sloan did. There's the emotions <laughs> in there. They're going to want yeah. retribution, but that's why we have those. Isn't that funny that we cheer on Sloan for punching the guy in the nose, but we're not and okay him in with, the balls. with saving it's somebody's life? Well, it's well, a totally different thing. Yeah, but I, know, yeah. but I, I just it's think that's kind of one's interesting. One's kicking the balls and a shot to the and he did something that I think that was warranted. But the idea that you use <laughs> sarin gas on innocent people is a whole different matter yeah. yeah so and and but i think it's great that the, there's the continuum on one thing yeah of course i'm cheering that on because that guy deserved it yeah <laughs> but and plus a, like i was just playing just flight devil's advocate no but i think that. it's a great question <laughs> i'm glad you brought it up i think I, I love that he put that in the whole show mm -hmm. in, in this instance is it right in this instance is it not mm -hmm. and the whole show was definitely a question of justice and mm -hmm. injustice and mm -hmm. and then also rage and how different people deal with it. You know, Maggie keeps yep. hers inside, and, and it eats at her. Sloan yeah. punches guys in the nose and kicks them in the balls. There I you mean, go. it's just all. Yeah. And then in Will's case, sadness, mm -hmm. how you deal with devastation, tragedy. And I liked, so this, the whole episode was called News Night with Will McAvoy. Yeah. And it was definitely centered around him. It was one news night with Mel and Will mm -hmm. McAvoy and all the other stuff that's happening that's while happening that has, him. while mm -hmm. news night's going on. And I thought, again, this is why Jeff Daniels is nominated for an Emmy. Mm -hmm. But just the look in his eye, uh, that you know something was going on, yeah. and I, it was just, I thought it was very powerful, and yeah. I liked seeing him, and I liked Mackenzie with him with yeah. that, trying yeah. to keep him on track. And usually, he has stuff together even on air in the worst yeah. of times, you know, mm -hmm. when he's high, <laughs> when, yeah. you know, when when a lot of stuff is going on, and this this rattled him. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What did you guys think about that? I just, it was great because a lot of it was under, and you had to, if you hung with Will and just stayed with him emotionally, you could really see what he was going through, which was great. Mm -hmm. But I loved Mac really trying to, you know, always yeah. trying to pull from, make him, you know, look, just give him a call, and just trying to pull from him right. to try to solve, not solve, but put a salve on the, 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 uh, the pains he's had with his father and stuff like that. Yeah. And now he can't do that at all. Yeah. Because so. his father... I, if I remember correctly, it was an alcoholic and used to have, mm -hmm. he used to do 
do bad stuff to yeah. the kids Didn't and his mom. Him. Yeah, yeah, I think he used to beat, beat him and yeah. the mom and, and, and what, the sister what did, until what he was old. Until Will was old was enough, enough to hit him to, back. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Didn't he say when a, when somebody tells you that you're you're bad so often that you be, you start to believe it? And then it was not. I'm, I think that's what he said. Didn't that what Will said? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's talking about his father. Now. And you know, regardless of all, you know, it's still your dad. Yeah, so it's yep. hard to mm-hmm. if he beat you while you were younger. Like that's still your dad, and mm-hmm. who knows, you know, what their relationship had become after that. Mm-hmm. Maybe they made amends. Hopefully, they did. Maybe they didn't. Well, and it's funny. I mean, you see a lot of people in real life who have parent parental issues, and it's interesting when somebody does something so bad that there's still an attachment to them. Yeah. You know, if we if if it was somebody else that had done that i mean you could mm-hmm. cut them off but because yeah. it's your dad mm-hmm. or your you know or your mom yeah. and in mm-hmm. other cases you know it's, it's almost like how could you them. how could you not have like still an attachment because even even then it's even then in that case it's even more so going to affect you because your mother your father the person who gave life to you mm-hmm. the person you're supposed to trust has done something bad right. to you and it probably makes you nervous that it's in the gene somewhere too I mean, you have oh yeah to yeah absolutely because mm-hmm. the person who's supposed it. to be your defender becomes your destroyer and yeah. i mean that just really whacks you out yeah but i just yeah I, I agree with you about Mackenzie. it was just you know it's they have a bigger relationship right than the newsroom mm-hmm. and Mackenzie still takes time to be there for him not only as the ep mm-hmm. but also as the friend, you know, ex girlfriend mm-hmm. that's known him for all these years, that's been there and yeah. probably met the dad and knows what's going on with them. And, and she knows how much this could mean to him to actually try to uh, mm-hmm. ease that relationship. It, it could really open things up for Will as a human. Yeah. And yeah. The only really loving relationship, which is kind of broken anyways, is his with Mackenzie. And there's still love there, mm-hmm. obviously. Mm-hmm. Especially, I think how Mackenzie was keeping an eye on him and yeah. with with Neil with the tweets mm-hmm. <laughs> from Pepper Burke Pepper. I mean just what time it name Will that? Just <laughs> did no. not have a good night no. No. first the stuff <laughs> no, with his didn't. dad then no. we know his oh his relationship God. with the audience and the fact that did anybody have a good night tonight I think Sloan at the end, but then Sloan yeah, but that, yeah. I don't, you know. I <laughs> think she would take it. it all back if I didn't have to go through. You know what I mean? I'd forego that great ending to just get rid of all of it. Yeah, that's true. So, but um, the the, the he's just I can't believe he got so upset over some tweet, some woman. And then, but again, that's who he is. That's his character. It just drives yeah. me crazy. Who cares? Well, we all know. Yeah, Freaking he's, tweet. He's obsessed with it now. Yeah. Well, I mean, we all get that with certain stuff. I remember I started here, you know, you had a couple yeah. bad reviews, and, and you sit there and you think about it, well, maybe I should not giggle as much or, you know, something around those lines. Mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and after a while, you, you know, potentially look up that person, and you're like, oh, well, all they comment on is, you know, certain <laughs> <laughs> other things. And I never they're not a positive... I, I did that with one of them did I got you? for Walking mm-hmm. Dead. Yeah, <laughs> I looked up what that person did. But I mean, but you're running the show like that. I mean, you you, you have far more important things to do than worry about what right. somebody said because they were they felt snubbed at a at a coffee shop. I mean, I, but I love that that's his Achilles heel. But it drives me crazy because yeah. I'm like, who cares? Yeah. You're the top one percent yeah, in the country. Let, let it go. <laughs> Just like throw your money at her. <laughs> Just he cares so much. He cares about the image of the network yeah. more so now too. Well, and well. And she, the thing that she said is now you've lost a viewer, and that's the thing that got him more yeah. than anything. Mm-hmm. Lost a viewer. Yeah. And so. Mackenzie goes, she knows what she's doing. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and I think, I think at the beginning it was he was using the Twitter as a distraction from calling his dad. Yeah, I think that's great. Kind that's of good insight. procrastinating yeah. mm-hmm. to yeah. do it. But then once he lost his dad, and yeah. then the third thing was you mm-hmm. lost a viewer, then it hit him. And, his, I, and I liked his line there when he lost his dad. And they come back oh, yeah. from the from the and he break, and he just he just sits there, and he finally says, "Looks like it's just us now." Yeah. Meaning, I have no one else in my life but the viewers. No, and, and he <laughs> lost because one of them. And I went, "What are you kidding? Yeah. You have a sister? You have a Kenzie? Or what are you? What are you crazy?" Yeah. But his, if his sister's with his dad, and he yeah. says his dad was fifteen hundred miles away, yeah, they're obviously not seeing each other. Well, very yeah, often. I know, I know. But that's my point: is that he, he, you could have these relationships, you could have this a much more meaningful existence. Mm-hmm. But again, he can't because it's much easier to adore people that he doesn't have to really deal with than yeah. like Mackenzie, who betrayed him. So yeah, and Mackenzie had her own side story going. Right. As well, which I actually thought was an incredibly interesting 
story because it is something. Nice. Well, again, I cover more entertainment news right. um, outside of here, and there's a lot of stuff about you know people coming out and how that's mm -hmm. celebrated, and and it's great. I think it is celebrated. It should be celebrated that mm -hmm. you're comfortable with you know mm -hmm. with who you are. We all should be, and we shouldn't hide it. Mm -hmm. And Unless I, you should hide the part about taking the naked pictures, though, right? I mean, we shouldn't be that comfortable <laughs> that we just do the naked pictures. Okay, go ahead. If you're, if you're comfortable, then go ahead. But I thought it was interesting <laughs> how she didn't want to do that because she knew his intentions were mm -hmm. more to try to be a celebrity because right. of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And at first he's hurt, obviously, right. by it because... She, he, he's probably thinking she's homophobic and doesn't mm -hmm. want me to be on the show because it's not that kind of show. Mm -hmm. And Mackenzie, true to form, that's just not what they do at Newsnight. No. No. They don't break stories like that. That and is that is something Amori Povin would do. That's not even do. a story. And more important, It has nothing to do with the story. It's... It, it, Absolutely. It's a soap opera. But I think the reason more than anything was that she said, look, you're going to get killed out there. And I did mm -hmm. you a favor. I think she realized, yeah, That's you were. You, you would have got, they would have eaten you up. Mm -hmm. And he, I'm sure anybody who goes on thinking, oh, I'm going to be, they have no idea what they're in for. And when they, <laughs> the onslaught of stuff that could be coming your way, you're just not prepared right. for. Well, especially if people, you know, if he's on Twitter and people can tweet him from yeah. the comfort of their yeah. computer or cell phone. Anon anonymously. Yeah. Exactly. They can say, He'll have a lot of supporters, but yeah. then he'll have a All lot of people. And then yeah, yeah. yeah who's yeah. be like, I don't care, and yeah. other people that'd be like, I think that's great. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Will Show isn't really the place no. to do something like that. And I thought it was interesting that Mackenzie took a stand against it. And but then I think it's got down to yeah, and it got down to the the point with him that he was doing it because he didn't want to tell his parents yeah. in person, mm -hmm. which totally understand yeah and also you know in a weird way for me that also paralleled will's story not not that will's gay or anything like that but just that he can't communicate with his mm -hmm. parents either and here you go it's it's mm -hmm. it, it's a it's a cyclical thing it happens it all the, the time yeah and and we're still not able to do it mm -hmm. yeah communication was a huge thing because we yeah. even see that certain things get lost in translation we didn't talk too much about don mm -hmm. with his story trying to call <laughs> philip right. and how he has dry sense of humor <laughs> but that got picked up yeah as a story. As a story. As a legitimate story. As well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. But it was, and then Mackenzie was able to focus, go back and focus on Will, which mm -hmm. was, he needed that. Sorkin's idea. See, it might be a good idea to have a couple of sources. <laughs> it's, it's just, <laughs> <laughs> there's Multiple. a reason why there are certain rules. <laughs> No, it's yeah, definitely. <laughs> you need you need a few sources yeah, before you can exactly. say anything. Some corroboration might be a good idea. When so we didn't really talk. Um, oh, so to get back to Genoa okay. at the very, very end, yeah. because I, we're definitely going to talk about this. When Charlie went up to, um, went up to Mac. Mac. Sorry, with the Hilo Manifest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure we try to cover everything. Sure, and that was one go thing ahead, that we ahead. missed. Yeah. But I think we, we got a lot of other stuff. Mm -hmm. The and Manifest. MX76 was on it. Yeah, yeah, MX76, and there's no such thing. Mm -hmm. And I like all of a sudden, Char. All of a sudden now, Charlie's on board with it. And yeah. It happened. It happened. And I'm going to prove it. Yeah, he believes it completely now. Yeah. And I'm going, wait a minute. You believe it completely? This, I mean, this guy gave him the... I was just like, wait a minute. Why would this guy give you the manifest? You're not even questioning why he gave you that? Yeah. Well, I think he's like 99% because he still yeah. says, like, we've got we've to prove that this happened. Mm -hmm. So he still needs to do... The proving. Yeah, I know, but I was just wondering, okay, so Shep's in there, he's trying to tell you, but wouldn't you want, wouldn't, you know, if your son was there, wouldn't you want us to use every means necessary to get him out? Da, 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 yeah. da. So, and it was kind of like, I was thinking, Shep's trying to get him off the story, just right. get out of here, I don't talk too. about it. And then, and then he gives him the, the Hilo manifest, right. so I'm going, wait a minute. Contradictory. Yeah, so I'm going, don't you want to figure, I mean, Charlie, why is he giving you that? Yeah. I think he's just so caught in, in the, because they've been, you know, yeah. digging and digging and digging with Jared Dantana, and mm -hmm. finally there's, like, something that surfaces, so he probably was just kind of taken with it, like, and oh, my God. it's the first thing they have on paper, I get it, yeah, with right. the Genoa on it and stuff, but... It, it's, 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 it's. Yeah, but from the outside, you know, perspective, yeah, it is kind of iffy, because yep. why, why would, in one second would you be trying to 
get Charlie off the story, and then all of a sudden, you're not really giving him the mm -hmm. data of the yeah. computer center that's being but set it, up in Utah. And, and it's, it, and it, yeah, exactly. It's, he lies about what it is, and it's all crumpled up. And supposed and that was, that was I was going to say, too, the note, the manifest, mm -hmm. didn't look that great. I mean, no. it was. It was crumpled up. I mm -hmm. thought it was, I mean, it could have just been a couple of doodles for all <laughs> we know. Right. He just wrote it there while he was uh, sitting yeah, there. I'll just know. put MX, you know, so and he yeah. sits on it. And then when he commented, like, sorry, it's so crumpled, like, Okay. What, and it, what like, who, whose benefit was that for? Did he think somebody was listening? Because only Charlie in the room was. He, did he think he was recording it? Yeah. I never know. Just... Reese was in there earlier, so. Yeah, exactly. Could be. <laughs> to question that. So. So I think. Yeah. Is there anything odd, else you guys odd. wanted just to? Why, but why would they want to set up news uh, news night? I, I no, I don't know if they want to. I don't know that they want to set up news night specifically, but they might be. But I think they they want to make sure that they either bury the story or discredit the story because so, it, it, for two reasons: one, if it's really false, that like, great here, look, the, or if it was true and they're trying to discredit whoever's going to say it, then the story dies away and the story becomes who who put out a false story because mm, mm. yeah. then the story goes away. Which way do we think it's going to go? Mm -hmm. I actually think it's the second one. Think, thinking of it now, like. They want to discredit it. So you think we actually did the same? That, yeah. So the, in this particular they, world, not in, in the this, real no, world, but in the in the newsroom world. In this world, world that they they did it. You think so? I'm starting to think that. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. interesting. But they're trying wow, to create well, the, a distraction. I don't think they can do that because how how do you come back from that in the newsroom world? I mean, if if they if the if America really did that, how do you come back from that? How do you go on telling stories? Yeah. Well, I think the I actually think in the newsroom world they did it. Uh huh. But there's going to be enough evidence that could make people question it uh -huh. that, like an Operation Tailwind, what right. it's based off of. There was enough evidence to obviously make them run the story, right. and it probably happened, you know, maybe, mm -hmm. we don't know. Mm -hmm. and, and according to the people who ran the story, they thought that it happened. Mm -hmm. But then the Pentagon gets involved, and you and they disproved enough of this stuff to to make it a problem it, they had a for lot of misinformation. I mean, you don't want to go up against the government. <laughs> If you can help it, unless yeah. you're Jason Bourne or something. <laughs> <laughs> and even then, it's a tricky situation. <laughs> yeah, it takes three movies <laughs> to right. figure that and out. There will be a fourth. Not a fifth. There, well, and there, there was, was a, a fourth, fourth with yeah, Jeremy yeah, Renner, but... <laughs> Let's not rule out a fifth. That's true. Yeah, wow. there, may be a, there may be a fifth. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So, um, All right. Anyways. But let's get to some news and news. After Buzz TV yeah. News. So, not that much news going on that we haven't talked about before. Um, ratings were yeah. actually lower Ouch. last week. Damn. A 13 That's surprising to me. Percent change. 13 percent. Wow. That's surprising to so me. So the week before it was at 1.80 million, and last week it was 1.62. Hmm. Wow. I would have so thought after the drama of last that. week that it might like. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you would think it would pick up, and I and Get I also have to viewers. wonder how much. You know, do they count again HBO Go? Yeah, I, don't I know. mean that's how I watch most of my stuff. Me I'm too. sure they've got they've got to figure out a way to quantify that. I'm guessing they would because yeah. that's most of the viewers should know. And then I wanted to talk about briefly what we've talked about. We even talked about with uh, Margaret Judson last week mm -hmm. was how um, Aaron Sorkin spoke out about the newsroom doesn't report the news. No, and he said that. And I know it's uh, why anybody would think slack. it would is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. They're just looking for a fight. He says, we don't report the news on the newsroom. The news serves as a backdrop against which we're telling our own Duh. stories. It's historical Does fiction. anybody really think, I mean, who's thinking that it's reporting the news? There's a lot of people that have hey, problems nerds. with certain things that they, you know, write about. And, and he's, as you guys, as you said, yeah. he's romanticizing it. Yes, mm -hmm. he writes, uh, does not write, it's, it's not a... Sensationalizing it's, uh, it. Yeah, and he doesn't write anti-hero stuff. He, this is what he writes. And um, kind of a fun one, f fun short article that I read um, has to do with Leona, uh, Jane Fonda. Mm -hmm. And it was titled, Jane Fonda workout videos were huge, but she thought they would be a huge flop. And I feel yeah. like most of us 
kind of know Jane Fonda from the music. I mean, she's in a lot of other yeah. great movies, of course, but she's also very much known for these workout videos. Yeah. She said that at the time she made it, videotapes weren't that big. Yeah. And, and she that just thing figured went nuts. Oh, well, wild. That, that, I think like I mean, every like woman. Like you said, had she had a whole career before that, but a lot of the whole segment of her society doesn't know her butt because of that yeah. right. video. And those it videos. Says, it said in the article it went on Feel to sell burn. 17 million copies. Jeez. Oh my which gosh. again, back when she did it, is huge yeah. 1982 wow. mm-hmm. so wow. just kind of a fun i'm gonna get my hands on a copy of that and just see how it is <laughs> try it out and let us know yeah. get back to us <laughs> let's do it together it's, it'll be a team bond here <laughs> exactly <laughs> so next week we saw a few things but mm-hmm. let's get to our predictions and now you're after buzz tv prediction predictions <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to see Mac go back to Mac go back um, <laughs> with Will to where his father oh, wow. is going to be. You think they're going to go? Laid to rest. I want to see it. Wow. So I'm going to predict that it. That might be good. The secret. Let's mm-hmm. make it happen. Yeah. See the funeral and the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. I don't know if they would go there. It seems like, again, from the previews, it's mm-hmm. going to be all about Genoa. Yeah. yeah the probably. next episode. That's yeah. Well, I that's true. For. But it would be good. I think it would be great mm-hmm. character stuff to have him go back. That would be wonderful. I think wonderful. so, too. I think the whole general thing, I'm going to say that uh, it's going to be exactly like that one in the sense that the, it's going to look like it really did happen, but there's going to be a just enough disinformation that, that people are going to fall on both sides of it, and no one's ever going to be able to prove it. Mm-hmm. And I think there's going to be one fact that's going to hit Mackenzie in mm-hmm. particular, that that's why they're going to run it. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that is, okay. but it'll have to be something big that or way. Maggie. And I do think Don and Sloan will eventually get together. Yes. I, I already say, said it before. I, said I it think like it's getting closer. I, I know they'll go out probably that before the end of the season, yeah. but it looked like they were going to kiss yeah, tonight. Yeah, 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 it's going to happen. And then, I, of course, I yelled out, no, don't yeah, you. Right. And as John pointed out, with every rebound comes consummating it. <laughs> <laughs> so they will. There we go. And he's going to get some pictures of her. No, mind. <laughs> or, or she'll get pictures of him. There you go. That's even there better. Go. They'll swap <laughs> pictures. That's right. <laughs> they'll make their own video. Um, anyways, make a thanks collage. for tuning in, you guys. I am Kristen Carroll, and you can follow me on Twitter at KristenCarroll13. You can follow me on Twitter at Sarah with an H Mendoza. Uh, I'm John Comerford, and you can follow me at the store if you ever see me. Uh, other than that, you can only <laughs> find me on SerialBuddies.com. Check it out. Yeah, and you definitely should go on iTunes and download the movie there as well. Thank you much. All right, thank you guys. And- From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.